Just straight goods. This jaw is just pure white, no additives in it yet at all. And that's just yellow tint, eh? This is just, yeah, it's sort of gold oxide. It depends, uh, it's not a pure yellow. Yeah. do here again for time constraints you don't want gel coat on an area that's not prepared so I mark out my target area you're gonna mask with something like plastic sheet or something big no I'm not oh. because wow. because of the Great. time it's all gonna take while everyone's standing around wow. so I just spray it on and then I wash the overspray off with acetone when I'm done, and uh, which works really well when it's windy. Have you ever tried masking when it's windy? So you want to get both at the same time. Okay, now we get into additives. Thanks. So this gel coat in its current form is not sprayable. This is unwaxed gel. Gel coat is intended. When this boat was built, they sprayed unwaxed gel coat into the mold. Unwaxed gel coat doesn't cure on the exposed surface. So it's ready for the next layer. So after the gel coat hardens, it's still nice and sticky on the surface. Now you put the fiberglass on and you get a good bond. If you want to reverse the procedure, now you want the gel coat on last, as we do, we create an, an air dry situation, you modify the material with wax solution. All this is is styrene and 10% paraffin wax, just candle wax. Is, is that all off the shelf or do you actually mix this? Do you mix that up? You no, you, you, buy it, you buy it like that. It's referred to as air dry or wax solution. And you want to add 2 or 3%, 4%. Uh, you add too much and the it will turn very yellow over time. The next thing I add is, now you can skip this one because this is where it gets expensive and I don't think you guys don't want to, your startup cost to do what we were doing today, yeah. you're looking at 600 bucks off the top of my head with all the chemicals that we're using and the glues. And, and this stuff is 160 bucks a gallon. Duratec, it's a clear additive for spray gel and what it does it, it basically turns it into more of a paint it um, has anyone ever work a gel coat and played with gel coat? Oh, yeah. you no know, you can thicken it you can put a piece of tape over it and hold it yeah, until yeah, it cures yeah. and then yeah. with Duratec you try doing that with Duratec it doesn't cure it's intended for spraying like you would paint as it cures this stuff's magic. It just levels the gel coat on me. It makes it very smooth. Normally gel coat is heavy and, and orange peely. So this so, reduces the amount of sanding I have to do. It also sands easier than normal gel coat. And it um, it stands up to UV better. It's a one part that doesn't affect any of your mechanics. No. So and it's you notice not I haven't done necessary if you're not going to use the spray then you don't have to use You it. can skip this step just to save the 160 bucks. And hardener, a bunch. Uh, <laughs> ten, 10 drops per ounce gives you 2%, which gives you, you know, for, for today, 20 minute pot life maybe. Um, 
So there I've, I've done... So what I was doing there, okay, I've got uh, four ounces with Duratec, so 40 drops as, or of hardener. And now, the last thing is acetone. And again, that's about, figure on about 25%. What this does, makes the paint, as, makes the gel coat as thin as paint. I spray on multiple thin coats, let it flash off. The acetone evaporates very quickly, but it lets me put the gel on nice thin coats so that if you, you get a better finish. If you brush instead of a, a spray gun, would you just not use the acetone, or would you dilute it just a little bit to use a uh, brush. brush? Would you paint it on? No. Given that we probably will. <laughs> Look at my kit, see if you can find a brush. There's the bike and brush. There's a lip. No, I, I, I spray everything. Everything. You cannot get a decent result, or if I may say, a, a professional result with a brush. Right. And I'm being paid to do professional jobs, so I only spray. How about those cheap foam ro ro rollers? I only spray. Foam's the worst. We don't have a compressor. Okay, Bill, let's sleep. Yeah, it's not his problem. Let him just tell us how to do it. Get a compressor. That was uh, Costco, $149. 10 years old. 15 bucks a year. That's really good value. What pressure do you set it right now? Um, I keep it very low. Like, we won't have to, you guys won't have to clear out of the area. Probably 25 pounds. And that's, again, that's, that's the beauty of keeping it thin. Keep the gel coat thin. It sprays easily. Gel coat is thick out of the can. Gel coat gets strained at the factory through a, like a bug screen. So it makes really rough, gritty spray. So once it's thinned with Duratec and acetone, did someone see me put hardener in? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. We need hardener. Sorry, what was the percentage of acetone? How much thinning? 25%-ish. Um, so it's basically 50% gel coat and 50% yeah. everything else. For spraying, yeah. Um, for underwater repairs, this is an ono. As soon as you put... As soon as you put acetone in gel coat, it, as it's evaporating, it it's creating porosity in the gel. So if you're leaving a boat in the water all season, this wouldn't be a good final step because you'll, you're, you're creating perfect osmosis environment. So underwater, the pox. You know, Ready? Yeah. <laughs> for spraying when it's diluted like this six coats it's still transparent right now yep i would call that a, that's a double coat double wear coat and now i wait for a little bit it's, it, it sags if it runs then that ruins everything because now you have to because that has to be sanded for final finish you start sanding it, it runs and then you burn through and we're not putting on a lot of material and it's double so coat just because you laid it on thick is that what you mean yeah but you've got hardener in this right now, so is that sure. not setting in the bottle and yes, it is. every consistency you it's, put on? Yeah, is I'm not taking a break. I'm not going to go and have a burger and stay in the But by equipment. the time this sets up enough, you can do another coat, aren't you getting in trouble? I'm not waiting trouble? for it to cure. Right. So I'm only, you know, Stop count to 100, let the acetone flash off. I see. And okay. gel coat, it, because it's viscous, I can put it on a lot thicker than paint. Right. Okay. So we just don't want to create runs.
Uh, also, by adding acetone, I've retarded the cure. Mm. If I took two cups of Joko right now, added equal amounts of hardener in each, and then put acetone in one cup, slow it down. The one with acetone would take two to three times as long to cure. So I'm, I'm not too worried about my gun spoiling. Kim, would you tell us about your gun? It's the cheapest one I can find because I, you know, so doing mobile. No, it's a Princess Auto touch-up gun. I buy them. I thought it looked familiar. Two or three at a time. <laughs> I got a box full of them, spare parts. If if we do have an accident, something kicks off too quick. Yeah. You don't even repair them. Yeah, they they go on sale for yeah. Throw them away. Kim, uh, into what? Well, it looks like you're not going as far to the edge. With this oh boat. yeah, it's that? not not as necessary because I've got. <clears throat> Opacity. Gotcha. Where the repair is. And you, you don't want to have a hard blend line. Ideally, you don't want any blend line. What will happen? This, this, we're not going to be able to finish this today. Now. But after I take the tape off and wash the overspray off, the next step is we come back tomorrow and wash this area down with acetone. The Joko will only cure if we talked about minimum thickness. The Joko is not going to cure if it's too thin. Now, unlike paint, which air dries. And it, it will cure no matter how thin it is. Joko won't. If it's not got a minimum of 10 mil, you'll be able to wash it off with acetone. So the guy who's going to finish this area will wash it down liberally with acetone, and that will remove any of the Joko that didn't cure around around the edges. Uh, and then it's ready to sand, or or not. And the sanding will take off the orange too? Yeah. Yeah, you sand it with uh, that that foam pad that I was using earlier. I'm just putting on some extra because I don't know who's yeah. going to be sanding this. <laughs> and uh, and what grit would you start with? 320. You take it up You'll two. see, I mean, you can see orange peeling this now. Yeah. You come back in a couple hours and go, wow, where did it go? It's that yeah. magic stuff, Duratec, I'm uh -huh. never without it. So start at 320 and go how, how high on this boat? Uh, on example. this boat, 600. So if you need 320, 400, 600. And I might even have the paper here, or I'll just leave you three sheets in the way to it. You're working your way in there, Kim? Into what? Well, it looks like you're not going as far to the edge with this boat. Oh, yeah, it's not, not as necessary because I've got <clears throat> opacity. Gotcha. Where the repair is. And you, you don't want to have a hard blend line. Ideally, you don't want any blend line. What will happen is we're not going to be able to finish this today. Now. But after I take the tape off and wash the overspray off, the next step is we come back tomorrow and wash this area down with acetone. The Joko will only cure if we talked about minimum thickness. The Joko is not going to cure if it's too thin. Now, unlike paint, which air dries. And it, it will cure no matter how thin it is. Joko won't. If it's not got a minimum of 10 mil, you'll be able to wash it off with acetone. So the guy who's going to finish this area will wash it down liberally with acetone, and that will remove any of the Joko that didn't cure around around the edges. Uh, and then it's ready to sand, or or not. And the sanding will take off the orange peel? Yeah. Yeah, you'd sand it with uh, that that foam pad that I was using earlier. I'm just putting on some extra because I don't know who's yeah. going to be sanding this. <laughs> and uh, and what grit would you start with? 320. You take it up You'll two. see, I mean, you can see orange peeling this now. Yeah. You come back in a couple hours and go, wow, where did it go? It's that yeah. magic stuff, Duratec, I'm uh -huh. never without it. So start at 320 and go how, how high? On this boat, uh, on example. this boat, 600. So if you need 320, 400, 600. And I might even have the paper here. I'll just leave you three sheets and.